Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm gonna discuss or I'm gonna uh, rate of you uh, a book that I read. It's called Seven Keys to Authentic Communication and Relationship Success. Before that, uh, communication between people is a multi-layered process. Uh, for, because of this fact, many of us um, feel inadequate to understand each other's or to be um, and to be understood. Whenever two people try to communicate, there are at least two levels of communication, the overt message and the covert message. The overt message is when you see the words or, or, the, uh, or uh, see the gestures. The covert message is the intent behind the words. Well in advance, uh, most of us don't have the knowledge, uh, the skills, or the, uh, the confidence to address the hidden intent in, uh, in our communication. Yet, today I'm going to teach you what are, what are the seven keys. The seven keys, we can benefit from these seven keys. We will learn how to use these keys to be more authentic, conscious, and powerful communicator. Meet, uh, with our families, mates, lovers, co and even coworkers. I have an example. If a teenager boy come to his mom and say, hey mom, I got the highest score in the math class. And she, she replied to him without, without even um, looking, looking at him, oh, that's great, and she continue, continuing doing whatever she was doing. What do you see about this sentence? In contrast, if she said, hearing that you uh, took the highest score in the math class, I feel so proud of you. In your opinion, what do you feel the, the best phrase will be? Second the second phrase. Yeah. Correct. So, um, the second phrase will augment and ele uh, elevate the communication between the son and her mother. The first key is hearing you saying that I feel Telling someone how do you feel, especially when she or he um, express something important, will build the intimacy and connection between people. To clarify, you can say, hearing you saying that I feel relieved, hurt, happy, upset, excitement, neglected, anxious, and so on. If we connect with, with others using these phrases, or one of, the, one of these phrases, we will leave a stronger, more palatable uh, impression on others. Second key, I want. If you want something, tell the person or the other partner, I want to hear your feeling about what I am saying. This is an example. I want you to come with me to the restaurant. Um, I want help you to express what you feel in, a, in, in this very moment. So be specific. Don't say, I want to look at, uh, at or don't say, I want you to look at me whenever I'm speaking. Say, look at, I want you to look at my eyes, for instance. Why? Because when you say, I want you to look at me whenever I'm speaking, it will be less palatable and it's like directive more than um, a request. The third key. I have some feelings to clear. Clear the air. How? How can we clear the air? Using this phrase, we can clear the air. When you feel that there is a wall between you and your partner, you can use this phrase. Um, besides, it will narrow the growing wall between you and your partner. So when you said, I have some feeling to clear, it will narrow any wall between you and, me, uh, between you and your partner and you will say whatever you want. So clear the air using this phrase. For instance, I have feedback for you that could be hard to hear. Please know that my instant, intent is not to hurt you, but to make our relationship do you have any questions? <coughs> the first key 
Okay, I'm getting triggered. Helps you recover from some moment when you automatically react um, aggressively or defensively. Uh, moreover, it's an easy way to get yourself into present time after, after your unconscious fear button has been shut down. So, for instance, I'll give you example to clarify. If your mother asks you to do her a favor and you don't want to do it for many reasons, um, instead of accusing her of being too demanding, you can say, I'm getting triggered. Or you can say what you just said is, trigger, is, is triggering a reaction. She will notice that you will recover from the unconscious to, to be conscious. I appreciate for you, appreciation. Sharing appreciation with the one you love, with the one you care, is an investment in the health of the communication. In other words, Appreciation is like, is like feeding vitamins to your relationship. Okay. Uh, moreover, it will expand your capacity and for intimacy and trust. trust yes. Therefore, uh, uh, appreciation is a powerful rule for creating whatever you want. So you can say, I appreciate you for telling me what you want. I appreciate you for helping me yesterday. The sixth key is, I hear you. Can I have a different perspective? We use this phrase. Um, if you have a difference in between you and your partner in the, in the, in the view or in, in, their, in your needs. To, uh, furthermore, uh, if you de de disagreed with you, with someone, you uh, if you dis disagreed with someone, uh, you you don't want to do it. You can use this phrase, and you will, you can embrace the differences between with you and him without hurting your con uh, connection. The seventh key: Can we talk about how we are feeling? It's a way. With your partner, if you are, if you have a feedback to discuss with other, or you with with the, your partner, and uh, you want to um, discuss something, something that you have a feedback to tell them, you can use this key. So don't say, "We need to talk." Say, "Can we talk?" Why? We need to talk, but say, "Can we talk?" Because it's more relational and less manipulative. Uh, in conclusion. Using these seven phrases can support you in your uh, can support you in expressing your uh, your really feel. Therefore, you will be more efficient and uh, in relationship with others. Last but not least, these seven keys can lead to successful outcomes for most relationship dilemmas. Finally, I highly recommended you to start practicing these seven keys with the significant people around you, maybe our classmates. Mm -hmm. <laughs>